Hey there. There's been a lot of versions of uh, Quick Draw um, tools for uh, um, threading. And uh, this old axis, and being an antique pre war lathe, uh, does not have a thread stop on the threading dial, which makes it a little bit harder to thread, in my opinion. Um, compared to something really deluxe like the Monarch 10 EE um, thread stop on its um, cross-feed dial. So um, I'm going to try to put a couple of things together here. I have successfully cut a couple of threads with it. Now this is a uh, KDK tool holder here, a 102. It was a swing tool. It was missing the uh, swivel and so I put it together with this um, hard inch number C6B I think that's what that says there and it's a sliding tool holder that takes round tools so just to get started I took a um, a uh, half inch uh, square shank tool and turned it round to fit into it but I'll make some custom tools for this okay I'll put that in there and uh, I'm gonna cut 18 threads per inch um, this calls for a relief groove but I only put relief grooves in if it's called for so I'll go ahead and cut it without a relief groove and uh, which makes the uh, quick uh, withdraw on this um, more handy. So, okay, I got it set up. And here's the cross feed dial situation here. These are old polished dials. They're kind of hard to read on these antiques. So I put a um, magic marker mark on it. And so normally when you're withdrawing the tool, you just back this off. And most of them, most lathes, newer lathes have a, a stop you can set will automatically stop. But this doesn't, so it's hard to read, so I put that mark on it. But using this, I can leave that in place, and then I will feed in with the uh, compound rest set at 29 and a half degrees, is what I usually set it in. And then usually at the end of the threading, I'll feed this in to shade both sides uh, of the flanks of the thread and make a better looking thread in my opinion but uh, I do get uh, tools just a little sharper than the next guy okay so I got a set up here for uh, 18 threads it's a 5 16 18 and I'm going to run it at uh, 264 RPM and we'll get set up and do that fire it up and get going I hope you're all having a good day it's sunny outside let's see if you can see out the window here sunshine okay I'm gonna go out there and work on that radial drill as soon as I uh, cut this thread here okay let's start it up Get this locked in. Fire up the American Rotary phase converter. All right. It's hard to get used to something the first time. 
I'll put a little bit of ink on here at first so you can see the first cut anyway. Okay, I'm going to keep it back just a little bit here. I'm going to feed it in uh, 30 thousandths on the dial here on the compound. that shoulder there. You get that a little bit of a file, huh? I'm looking at the crest of the threads. And I'm going to give it another 10. some loot. on the cross feed straight in to shave both the flanks of the thread. About two thousandths. We're forward. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> okay, let's see if it fits. Perfect fit. I was looking at the crest of the threads. Now I'm going to have to undercut it for it to fit on. Pull this tool out. Put a grooving tool in. Two seventy seven is good. probably if I can get it grooved without breaking it it looks about right we'll see but I think once I get used to it I'll be able to cut a single uh, point thread like that in about six seven minutes okay hope you enjoyed that I'll be back <laughs>